Definition. Erysipelas is a type of cellulitis caused by infection of the superficial layers of the skin and cutaneous lymphatics. Erysipelas is characterized by redness, induration, and a sharply demarcated, raised border. Synonyms. St. Anthony's fire. Epidemiology and demographics. Predominant age, occurs most often in the young or old. Risk factors, patients with impaired lymphatic or venous drainage mastectomy, saphenous vein harvesting and immunocompromised patients. Athlete's foot is a common portal of entry. Recurrence rate, relatively common. Physical findings and clinical presentation, distinctive red, warm, tender skin lesion with induration and a sharply defined, advancing, raised border. Most common sites are lower extremities and face. Systemic signs of infection fever, are often present. Vesicles or bully may develop. After several days lesions may appear echematic. After 7 to 10 days, desquamation of affected area may occur. Etiology, usually group A beta hemolytic streptococci, GABHS, less often group B, C, or G streptococci. Rarely Staphylococcus aureus. Complications abscess, necrotizing fasciitis, thrombophlebitis, gangrene, metastatic infection. Differential diagnosis, other types of cellulitis, necrotizing fasciitis, deep vein thrombosis, contact dermatitis, erythema migrans, Lyme disease, insect bite, herpes zoster, erysipeloid, acute gout, pseudogout. Laboratory tests. Diagnosis is usually made by characteristic clinical setting and appearance. Complete blood count, white blood cell count often elevated. Blood cultures positive in 5% of patients. Gram stain and culture of any drainage from skin lesions. Culture of aspirated fluid from leading edge of skin lesion has low yield. Imaging studies not routinely indicated. Duplex ultrasound for patients suspected of having deep vein thrombosis. CT scan or MRI for patients with suspected necrotizing fasciitis. Erysipelas treatment. General measures, symptomatic treatment of myalgias and fever. Adequate fluid intake. Local treatment with cold compresses. Elevation of affected extremity. Appropriate therapy for any underlying predisposing condition. Medication, antibiotics cure 50 to 100% of infections, but which regimen is most successful is unclear. Antibiotics may be as effective when given orally versus intravenously. A 5-day course of antibiotics may be as effective as a 10-day course at curing. Extremities, non-diabetic form. Primary, penicillin G, 1 to 2 million units intravenous every 6 hours or cefazolin 1 gram intravenous every 8 hours. Alternative, if penicillin allergic, vancomycin 15 mg per kilogram intravenous every 12 hours, when a febrile pen VK 500 mg by mouth 4 times a day AC and HS. Total 10 days, diabetics form. Early mild, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, TMPSMX, DS, 1 to 2 tabs by mouth twice a day and penicillin VK 500 mg by mouth 4 times a day or cephalexin 500 mg by mouth 4 times a day. Facial form. Primary, vancomycin, 15 mg per kilogram, actual weight, intravenous every 12 hours with target trough 15 to 20 alternative, daptomycin 4 mg per kilogram intravenous every 24 hours or linezolid 600 mg intravenous every 12 hours. Severe disease form. Imp or MER or ERTA intravenous and linezolid 600 mg IV, by mouth twice a day or vancomycin intravenous or daptomycin 4 mg per kilogram intravenous every 24 hours. Children, penicillin G 0 to 7 days, 2000 g equals 50,000 units per kilogram every 8 hours. 8 to 28 days, greater than 2,000 grams equals 50,000 units per kilogram every 6 hours greater than 28 days equals 50,000 U per kilogram per day. Cefazolin, 0 to 7 days, 2,000 grams equals 25 milligrams per kilogram every 12 hours. 8 to 28 days, greater than 2,000 grams equals 25 milligrams per kilogram every 8 hours. Greater than 28 days equals 25 mg per kilogram every 8 hours.
No reported group A streptococci resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics. In chronic recurrent infections, prophylactic treatment after the acute infection resolves, penicillin G benzathine, 1.2 million UIMQ 4 week or penicillin VK 500 mg PO bid or azithromycin 250 mg PO QD. If staphylococcal infection is suspected or if patient is acutely ill, consider a beta lactamase stable antibiotic, consider community acquired MRSA, and depending on regional sensitivity, may treat MRSA with TMPS MXDS. 1 tab PO bid or vancomycin 1 gram IVQ12H or doxycycline 100 mg PO bid.